You're live. It's not complete yet, but I'm going to show you how the software works on this thing. It's a uh, pretty much what it is. It's a gutted arcade cabinet, but with the computer inside. As you can see, it's going to load up Windows, but I've altered it to where it doesn't look like Windows as much. Good God. <laughs> that was the cabinet door. Scared the crap out of me. And it's going to load up this software called Hyperspin. This can be skipped too. Yeah. Just looks cool. Now this is software that you can actually put on your computer at home, obviously because it's on a computer right now. But when you're at this screen in the joystick panels, I'm able to go through and choose what system I want to play video games on. This is regular Nintendo. These are the ones that I've got completely tweaked out to where they should work just fine. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, MAME, which is pretty much every game that you're going to be playing on your arcades, like back in the day when you were at the arcade center. So, I can just show you off some regular Nintendo stuff. I'll go in here, and these are all the games that I've currently got working. And you can see, when choosing one of these games, if I want to go through all of these. Double Dragon. A lot of these I've chosen to be two-player games for co-op or two people, but there's a lot of games in here that are just mainly one player. Good old Rampage. Old School Ninja Turtles. One of the most difficult games ever. Let's say I wanted to play some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right here. Choose that game, and it loads the game up. I'm gonna do one turtle. Got to remember what buttons are start. Okay. Let's get past all this stuff. But yeah, and then you would play the game like you normally would, and then I can edit that out. <laughs> Experience some technical difficulty. Yeah. Is that the coin button on this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. Forgot the name is the only one that requires that. That's all regular Nintendo. Then you got all the Super Nintendo. Well, not all of them. No. Just the must-have canon games. Now, right now, I've got it set to where it's just basically screenshots of the game, and I can actually input video files of what the games actually look like. You'll see that when I get to the main area. But uh, right now, I've just got screenshots. This is not a complete finished project, obviously, due to the fact that I still gotta remember what buttons are what. But uh, good old fashioned Street Fighter, Mario Kart, Tetris. Let me go back. Then you got Sega Genesis, Battle Toads. Go through. Mortal Kombat, all the Sonic... And these games are all playable. I can go into them and play Sonic the Hedgehog 2 right now. If I so wish to, I would just beat it. About two minutes, but I'm not going to. That is with the code. Yeah. In case anyone was wondering if he was talking about a speed run. Yeah. Not quite. But yeah. Oh. But yeah. I mean, you can't works. even get past the first fish without getting hit, so speed run out of the question. Alright. That's Sega. But the rule 
deluxe about this is the main because this is where all the games that a lot of people played at the arcade would find real familiar. Bring on the main. This is where I got all the uh, graphics and everything looking all nice and sexy. Of course, you gotta have your Street Fighter 2. It's like a must whenever you're having an arcade system. And I got Street Fighter 3, new edition here, even some Puzzle Fighter, and of course. That game's on there. And some bloody games that I recommend the kids do not play. <laughs> and we can even go old school. Galaga. This is uh, the 88 version, so this is cooler. Hmm. Good old Killer Instinct. Available for your home in 1995. Only on Nintendo. Ultra 64. Killer Instinct. <laughs> Metal Slug. Now, a lot of you people, you probably have never played this game, but this is actually a pretty fun game. It's a co-op game for two people. If you actually did have to pump cords into it, it'd take you about $75 to yeah. get two players. Samurai Unless Showdown. You're... I'm just playing this game. Now, the thing is also, with these main games, i tell you what, we're going to go to... Show them. Street Fighter 3. Alright. With uh, the main games, the ones that you actually played in the arcade, they still require quarters to play, but we don't actually have to put quarters in here. You go down here, these are actually my coin buttons. So if you says you need to insert coin, I can just hit that button over and over and over and over again to give me quarters. See right now it says insert coin. None of these buttons are going to work because you need coins. So I'll just come down here and just both sides work. And watch a carry get this handed to him. Sounds like a double of seven music. It does. Is that the guy in the background that said, I get all the chicks? Yeah! All the chicks, this guy's gonna get busted in the corner. He ain't put much of a pot. No. What is this on? Easy? Uh, it'll get harder, I'm sure. Engage. You oh! Four of you up with Chun Li. Button mashing. Tabra power attack! Yeah. Took that to the face, man. He blocked that with his face. Oh god. Oh, you taunt me? Took his head off. Not a Internet KO. All right, now you're just having fun. Back right. to the tutorial. Walk through. Uh, yeah, same thing. All the games require quarters in the main area, but you know that's what adds to the fun. It's actually popping in quarters. Yeah, otherwise these games would be impossible to beat. <laughs> if it was just, oh, you got six men. 20. You really realize how many quarters it takes for a game to be beaten when you have the coin button. I know we burned through at least forty bucks on some of these games. Oh yeah, aliens, <laughs> easy forty bucks. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial of what I got done so far. Every other system can be on here as well as PlayStation, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Nintendo Wii. Get back out of it. Every system known to man can be put on this and worked out. These are the ones that I pretty much got critiqued out to where You can even put PC on. games on there if I remember right. That as well. Uh, but we need for... to get GL Tron. <laughs> But as of right now, these are the ones I got critiqued out working just fine. Uh, for the computer I've got in here, it can only handle so much. So a lot of the really anticipated graphics, 3D games are really sluggish. 
But yeah, I will be making more of these to come. So yeah. All right. Thank you.